Greetings and welcome everyone to another Ruby-centric video. I'm your host, Dulce Tone, harmonizing theory since 2015. In the looming shadow of Ruby Volume 5's release, I'm covering multiple topics relating to Volume 4. Today, we're talking about semblances, or more accurately, redefining what we know of them. As the lore said in the Aura world of Remnant, semblance is a special power unique to the individual. The hereditary semblance of the Shni family is the only exception, but that's a theory for another week. As Volume 4 continued onward, however, we seem to have gotten opportunities as to where the semblance can be expanded upon. We saw two instances of Crow turning into a Crow, or at the very least using one to teleport to and from. Yet we heard from his lips that his semblance isn't an animagus, but that he brings misfortune. This doesn't make much sense on its own. However, we do see something going on with Ren that may fill in the blanks. When we look at when Ren's semblance first activated, he was hysterically distraught, as any child should. But as his semblance took hold and he not only instantly calmed down, he was in control of his emotions entirely. In conjunction, he was able to spread this calm temporarily to Nora when he cloaked her. A semblance doesn't appear to be just an active skill they can manipulate, but a passive one as well. Ren's active ability is to cloak people and things from the detection of Grimm for a short amount of time. However, his passive ability is to control and dampen his emotions. This would explain his stoic behavior most of the time, hiding his emotions with smaller indications. And going back to Crow, his passive semblance is misfortune, but his active form is to transform into and control a crow. This would better explain how his semblance works, transforming into the embodiment of bad luck as an active ability, and then bringing poor luck as a passive. Suddenly, everyone's abilities just got a wider range of potential. Yang's is pretty straightforward, gaining superhuman strength even outside of combat. Ruby's speed is more passive, but combined with a cloak allows her to split into or redirect her body in unpredictable directions and speeds. And so this is actually where you come in. What do you think all the characters' passive semblances could be? I'm looking forward to what you all come up with in the comments. Semblances have two tiers of abilities, passive and active. At least that's my headcanon. I'm Delta Tone, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and consider hitting the bell icon next to it to be alerted for my future videos. If you want to see more videos like this, consider contributing to my Patreon, and a big thank you to all my current patrons for their continued support. And remember to always keep theorizing. You just might wind up right. Thanks for watching.